All right, let's do this. We're doing Julia. She's better than Zeke because she doesn't have stupid hair and glasses and look at his dumb face. I hate him, but yeah, we're going to go play this now. Ready? Three, two, one. Zombie. <laughs> yeah, this game's called Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So we're going to do that right now. The zombies are going to eat our neighbors because that makes us go faster. It's also like a high risk, high reward oh, thing. Crazy. The rest is if the 10th neighbor dies, then the game's over. Do I get the ultra luck? I got w the worst luck possible, actually. There's like a, a one frame chance that I, uh, whatchamacallit, I get a skeleton key there, which would save me time. Make the run easier, too, but we're gonna fight the baby instead, because we didn't get the, like, super reset heavy luck there, which, so whatever. Do we get the luck here? Because this level's, like, got a lot of luck on it. Where this guy can sometimes not spawn and waste time, but we got that, so hooray. To save some time in level one. There you go, see. Yeah, we, I think we only rescued one of you, right? I did the one strat. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's the guy I need to get for the rest of the run. There is a guy like, I, this level's easy now. You just run right. Before you did like go through a fence and all that, but now it's just run right. It's simple. Makes this level easy and like the fastest in the game. Oh, that was close. All right, <laughs> that wasn't nice. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, there's a very slim chance you could almost die there. I've never had him die. But like they can spawn like right on top of him, which is not good. <laughs> I was like, is Marathon Luck going to actually kill him for the first time ever? No. I kind of thought he would for a sec, but yeah, we're good. Speed shoes, those make you do speed. I'm going to use those later, but yeah, right now, no. Items are pretty strict when you want to use them and all that. I do not want that potion. It is very luck-based and bad. It could do anything from be a first aid kit or speed shoes is very nice, but it could also make me a zombie that can't do damage and can't grab neighbors or do anything, or a ghost that, like, can't attack or anything. That what? sounds like some pretty screwy RNG with that on, huh? I'm do you attack grab it. There we go. I guess I'm gonna skip that first aid kit. I usually don't grab it anyway. I forgot how many missiles I have left to spare or something. Like, you know, it's just the more the merrier, why not? Level 5, which one is this one? Oh yeah, this one. We just go grab the lawnmower and then leave. Pretty easy. I need to check... Pro There's like this... Uh, someone's making you do mod for this game where they just... I'm playing this game, but in like 3D. Just thinking about it, because like... Oh, free missiles, why not? <laughs> I'll take one damage for that. Ooh, yeah, someone's making a Doom mod and they've only done like the first like 10 levels or something. Or like up to the baby or whatever. I, I need to check on that again, but like... Should be more of that at some point. Super cool. One of those things I want to run in the future too, because like I run this game, so might as well. <laughs> yeah. This one's Pyramid. That's what it should be called. Heck, yeah, I mean, this is a marathon. I should grab the safety items up here. Doesn't hurt, huh? Let's make the baby fight way easier. I normally skip those. It's like an extra like, ten seconds or something. But yeah, I'll grab those. I did get extra missiles too, so like, yeah, whatever. Those are gonna be good the whole run though. The more missiles you have then the run, the better, because you can use those to go faster. Because they do a bunch of knockback on you, and you just use it to go flying, why not? Or I can use it to, if I miss shots on the baby. Get me in here, thank you. I need to kill this mummy right here. Bad mummy. Secret item here. Secret fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, I need to use the, fire, uh, the missiles here. I forgot. Also, the mummy spawned here, which is bad luck. Oh yeah, there we go, whatever. Blew him up. <laughs> Yeah, you can use missiles to unlock doors too, which is nice. Or you can go grab the keys on the other side of the map, and that's really, really slow, so I'm not going to do that. Plus, we got extra missiles, so like, why not? But yeah, I have the, uh, whatchamacallit here. Last chance luck. Did not get it. Uh -oh. Yeah, I could get the skeleton key there at the very... There's only, like, three chances this run. But baby squashed me. Got me again, jeez. I'm going to be on screen. This is also a complete luck-based attack, and... The missiles also do, like, luck-based damage. You get. I need to do this fast where he kills me. There we go. It was almost bad. I have three lives. It's not, like, an instant death or anything, but... Still, I want to keep those. I need the baby to stop running around. He is, like, the fastest enemy in the game, so I need him to do this attack. I'm trying to get double hits on him. There we go. Cool. I'm gonna grab a key just in case. Why not? I have extra missiles, so it's fine. I can just use those here. 
Yeah, if I get a skeleton key, I could skip that fight entirely, but it's completely, basically luck based. Yeah. Huge baby. Yeah, if I skip the baby, he doesn't turn to a neighbor, so I get to keep the one neighbor, and it gets me to go faster on this level, but it doesn't happen, unfortunately. That's why it's a huge reset point to get a skeleton key, but yeah. I'm gonna get health. It's hiding right there, and I need it. Should I get this health? Nah, I'm gonna just keep the extra missiles. I'm pretty good on HP. I'm gonna get this guy murdered, by the way. Okay, good. I, I did hear the Q. It was like a sound Q you didn't worry about. Otherwise, you take damage from that slime. The slime keeps from using items, and you just take constant damage for like, I don't know, three or four hits or something. I don't remember how much it is. Don't get hit while it's easy. Oh yeah, this is the one where you can go get the health kit over here. Cool. Two HP, easy. Watch out for these bootleg Harry Potter... Wait, I'm going through here, right? Yeah, there we go. Almost did the old route for no reason. This route's just, like, way better because you get, like, a bunch of keys here for free. And it's actually faster, too. Grab him, and... Oops, I didn't switch to the Y item I need, and it's fine. I'll just press the A button once before I go here. Whoop, no, it's B button. I don't know what the buttons are in any controllers anymore. I'm using a SNES controller for this. Like, Nintendos are backwards for Xbox, and it, like... Yeah, PlayStation's just like, whatever, we'll use whatever we want. Whoops, took that hit. A's and B's now, we got X's and O's and triangles and stuff. Give me that, thank you, I'm out. Super hard level, you just gotta hold the X button and then hold left and kill a bunch of orange basketballs. To out. I think they're supposed to be like spiky pumpkins, but they're orange basketballs. This is the first time using the speed shoes. We. And I'm getting more speed shoes instantly, and then I think we get some more or something down here. I don't remember what we get down here. Uh, a key, and then yeah, a second speed shoe. I think I did remember. And then I'm grabbing the cheerleader, although the football guy hit me when I couldn't see him, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. The football guys don't do any damage, but they knock you around like crazy. And we had the big saucer the whole time there. Normally it'll just like heck off some way through the level, but yeah. Bad luck this time. Where this level? Okay, this is the one where they can die if I don't do a heckin' fast. I don't think I need to use that missile there, but I had extras. It's whatever. I get more here anyway. More keys for later. I, I need to not let these fools die here. They're not even close to me. Oh, geez. Well, that guy spawned on Tommy, but whatever. Sometimes the zombie can spawn like right next to them, and you have to like snipe them with your little squirt gun, or they die. Yeah, we did not get that bad luck though. <laughs> This is called Seven Meals for Seven Zombies, and they lied. There's way more than seven zombies in this level. How dare they? I, mean, I don't want to blow the, too many of them up. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but yeah, I want to try to keep my score as low as possible. Because when you get to 40,000 points, which is inevitable, you will, uh... Whatchamacallit. Here this guy's on, on Tommy. You will spawn an extra neighbor, which means you gotta go waste time to go get them. But if I spawn them on a certain level, the neighbors will be, like, right next to each other, so it's just grab one and then kill the other, and it's really easy. If I spawn in like level before or after, it like wastes a ton of time. But here I'm gonna hold right and shoot the rip missile and I get a little boost of speed. That's like the only place I ever use that in this game, which kinda sucks, but whatever. The only place I can use that like at the very start of a level, which is I think it'd be more of an ad. There's only one spot where I can like shoot a missile and like also get some shmovement off of it. This game's only got one thing of shmovement. I can that's bit right there. <laughs> Need more missiles and then grab this guy. Then I'm out. Hey, before the one I was watching, I was watching a demo reel. Like this game has like a demo reel on the main menu. You can just leave it sitting for a while because all games used to do that. And the one there, like the neighbor I rescued, like the, like Julie just like takes forever to grab him, but she finally grabs him. He just instantly dies from a neighbor from a a chainsaw guy murdering him. It's like why'd you waste all that time? What are you doing? All right, here's some ants. They are huge. They are as fast as me when I don't have speed shoes. Like my, they're as fast as my base speed, and they can steal items. And so I gotta get to them before they grab them. Oh, get out of my way, guy. Yeah, there we go. They're also, yeah, they're pretty fast, and they're very good at getting in front of me and getting my way. I think I need this, and then I need fire extinguisher, yeah. The fire extinguisher doesn't kill enemies, it just freezes them, so... Or all the enemies I'm going to be dealing with in general. I think there's a few... I think like the, it kills the blob, but I don't care about that. I'm just going to use it to keep enemies still so I can walk past them. See, that doesn't give me extra score. It's nice. This one's a release level, but there's an RNG spawn here. He's either gonna be my way, he's gonna not be. Oh, I wasted a key. Luckily, I had extra. <laughs> there we go. 
Whoops. I didn't even think it was closed with the door, but yeah, I had an extra key. It's whatever. I think there's more I can grab throughout the run anyway. The terror is back. Oh, yeah, so switch to rockets. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Just... You can do it here. But yeah, I'm going to drink my first uh, ghost potion. It lets me walk on water. These water enemies are normally, like, super annoying, but I can just, you know, ignore them. I'm invincible to all damage, and I can walk on water now, so it's just really good. Oh, my God, I hate that. <laughs> that invisible wall there. I normally go around that, but I was like, let's do it. Let's be bold and try to save, like, a fraction of a second. My frames, my precious frames. Yeah, trying to get, like, first place this game now, and, like, literally every little bonk like that matters. <laughs> kind of sucks. Okay, I need speed shoes for this. Also, I need to blow up this wall. Activate the speed shoes immediately. Try to bonk as little as possible here, and then I'm gonna go... Grab the shoe. And then I'm out here. I'm gonna go get some burgers, too. Which, I didn't use any HP kits for a while, so that means I get free health here. Burgers are health. Burgers heal you. Burgers are healthy for you. But now we're finding our, like, our second boss, kind of. The baby and this next boss are technically mini-bosses. They show up in more than one level, but... There's more than one of them. Yeah, I got Snake Woods, which is the Tremors monster. Oh my god, yeah, if his tongue hits me, he heals, so I want to knock a hit. I want to, like... Oh wow, did he actually leave? They can also just leave, which is bad. I can see where they went, but, like... He's just stay over here. Look, they're both here, actually. Oh, jeez, he's on top of me. That's not good. I'm trying to get double hits, too. That helps. They're going one down. They drop skeleton keys, which is why I have to kill them. Because the skeleton keys are hard to come by. The many you can skip in the run, like, yeah, I need to get as many as there are. I need every single one. Any extra just saves a ton of time. As long as before, like, certain parts of the run. I can just shoot this gun, and I get attacked as this guy. There we go. Eh. I got a bunch of squirt I'll, I'll gamble a bit on these. These have random drop chances. They're all squirt guns. The game wants me to have squirt guns, and I refuse. Get over here, guy. Don't despawn. Or not despawn. They can just leave. They go to, like, a different part of the map for no reason. These guys die in as little as, like, two shots. It's usually, it's, like, three like that. I wish it was two every time. It'd save me a lot. Of it. Actually, it's rare you can get a one-shot, too. That requires getting, like, max damage on both hits or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, okay. What's next? I always forget what's next when all my splits up, which I don't. There's literally like 50 levels in this game. Oh, right, here we go. I just need to run away. Yeah, this is a level where I don't use the speed shoes, even though the name has like run in the title. Yeah, these are the fitness Martians. We saw them earlier, but I think just in their ships mostly. These things are, they move. They're fast. They also put me in jail if I get hit by them. Yeah, I lose like a little bit of seconds here. Whoa, he almost did the thing where he walked straight into that guy. That jelly enemy is, like, completely non-threatening unless he physically touches a neighbor. He instant kill if he physically touches them, but if he shoots them with his little goo, they, they survive until you leave the screen. So, like, not even a thing. Which level is this? Is this the, uh... Oh, I need speed shoes. Hold up. Yeah, I'll have to act with him right away anyway. Oh my gosh, ow. Cool. Here... Oh, I need to be careful. Hold on. If I touch that question mark, this run is like basically over because that gives me a bonus level, and I would waste resources playing it, and it would just waste time too. I think I have to fight a, like a giant baby or two in there too, which is like, oh my god, it wastes a ton of missiles and everything. It's, it's sucks. <laughs> I want to deal with that. Just, all I gotta do is don't touch the question mark. It's easy though. Which level's next? Is this the cave of mystery? I think. Which, yeah, I think I, I can skip the missiles here because I got extra anyway. Yeah, they don't, they just waste time. Here we go. There's also a level where my guy can die if I am not careful. Yeah, I'll skip those because YOLO. It, it's, I skip those normally anyway in like attempts. Whoops. It's fine. He wasn't even close. But yeah, that guy can walk straight up, and if he's a position in a certain place, you can't do anything about it. It's very rare, though, that he gets killed. Just walk straight up and just death. Here we go. Here's one where I gotta shoot missiles and do good. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Why'd I just do that? There we go. Missile. <laughs> Two missile. Oops. I don't want to grab the whatchamacallits here. I'm gonna grab that. I don't think I need the key, but I'm going to do it anyway. Whoop. 
If I walk down the middle there, this neighbor instantly dies. These guys spawn in. They're very good at sniping. They're so fast too, jeez. Not as fast as the big baby, but you know, the small babies are really pretty quick. Babies are fast in this game. That's all you need to take away from this. Big speedy babies. Oh yeah, speaking of, here's another giant baby. I'm probably gonna use, use the health kit, like, immediately. And try to grab as many keys as I can, too, because they're here. Oh yeah, heal. Heal, big time heal. <laughs> I'll be back with those missiles in a second. I'm gonna take this because they usually try to chase me. This uh, this gun instant kills ants. I think it's a feature more than a bug, but yeah. Normally it just puts enemies in the orb like the, the Martians do to me. If I survived, I could have got those two burgers, but I had to use that health kit. Oh well. The ants are too big to fit in the bubbles, so they just instantly die if you shoot them with it, which is pretty nice. I'll say you say that uh, feature more than a bug, but uh, I guess it works on bugs, huh? <laughs> Hey, hey. Way too far. I forgot to switch <laughs> to this gun. Whatever we call this. Yeah. That was the oldest, shortest level in the game, but since we do the strat on level one, we just let's now like faster by a little bit. This is another really fast level too. I just gotta shoot some missiles and stuff. This level's supposed to have werewolves on it, but I've never seen a werewolf here. So I don't know you know about them. I mean, if you go slow here, you hear werewolf sounds, but if I just leave, it's whatever. <laughs> See ya. Empty level, lol. It's not ice cream horror. They, they, had a, they had a setup and they messed it up. Ice cream horror in Vampire Zone. <sighs> Horrible. Grab that key. I forget if I need that or not. I'm just gonna get it anyway. I'm gonna get this cross. There are vampires here, as they mentioned. What? Good, I didn't have to use any. These chests are mean. I'm gonna gamble on one, but they'd almost never give me anything. Yeah, that one even hurt me. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Gambling is bad. Those chests almost always give me bad items. Oh, I need the clowns. Vampires love clowns. Everyone knows this. I'm gonna drop another one here. Also, I need to make sure my points are good, which I uh, need to get like that amount. That's pretty good. Whoop. They dealt with that clown already. Let me uh, spawn another one. I don't know what clowns you want, guys. And then I'm out of here. Was this the level I need the soda on? Or the monster potion? I'll find out. It's whatever. This is a zombie house party. Yeah, it is. Dang, I should have pre swapped, but whatever. It's fine. I grabbed a potion like ages ago. I need to use this now. Chug, chug, chug. I'm gonna punch through a million walls now. It's a very rowdy party. Whoop. Free burger for health. I'm gonna grab another monster potion for later because I'm gonna use this again. Yeah, otherwise, if you like, you don't want to get the potion, you have to use like 10 missiles here or something. It's kind of a pain. I did not switch to my missile launcher before I went into the potion mode. I should have switched this before, but I forgot about that. Oh well. Doing it unoptimized, but it's whatever. I'm gonna spend a second switching, I guess. Yeah, this is all I need to despawn an enemy, or else it just kills the neighbor. Or there's it's a very high chance it kills the neighbor if I don't do that. So let me do this. So I either go down here, and then I go up here to the couch, and then shoot that down. And there's no spider in here. There's normally like a really fast spider in here. I'm gonna gamble on that. Nothing in there. It's very erratic. It moves very fast, and it's like almost guaranteed to kill there if I don't do that despawn thing. I could also gamble and try to save, like, two seconds, but it's not worth it. I'm gonna leave right away. I was gonna have this neighbor get killed here. Chainsaw man, but I'm out. Okay, good. He didn't even hit me. Slow chainsaw man. Okay, which one's next? I know the the first, like, big boss is coming up soon. On level 36. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we got who, oh, this one. Who taught the chainsaw man spin attack? Oh, he already knew that. I didn't use that. He's a master. He would teach Link. What? Why what? does the Chainsaw Man know how to spin so attack? Because <laughs> he's good. He's good at Chainsaw. He's a professional. Okay, fair. Whoop. I didn't freeze him, but I guess I get to live. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to freeze the ants because they give me points if I kill them. I also need to get rid of all my, uh, whatchamacallit, fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, marathon! I'm gonna grab this this uh, 
health kit. It's normally really slow to grab this, but yeah, we're doing this for safety, why not? You can get rid of like almost all this fire extinguisher, then we'll work on the rest later. There we go, cool. Ants. Which is this one? Oh yeah, this is Fish and Crips, the worst name level in the entire game. It's the stupidest pun and I hate it. It's also like really, really short. They call it because there's mummies here, then they put a, some fishmen here somewhere. I don't even care. They, he exploded. Nice. Good job. I got points for that. You know, I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, what's next? Is it the factory level, I think? The one with all the chainsaw boys? Is it? Yeah, it is. I was a chainsaw maniac. I'm going to go over here and I need to shoot some missiles and stuff while avoiding the chainsaw maniacs. But easier said than done, too. Actually, no, opposite of that, it's pretty easy. It's easy to say it, too. If I hug the top wall here, they'll, like, actually help me out and do something in a sec, too, by breaking over some boxes for me. I'm gonna grab more keys and skelly keys, because I need all of them. They should be out of my way entirely, right? Yeah, nice. They, they broke that box for me, too. I don't know why that works. If you just hug the top wall, they just break that for you. It's really nice. Not to waste a missile or nothing. He's, he's even harassing me at the end. He's just like, yeah, here you go, friend. Okay, see you, bye. What a nice fellow. Plays hockey and owns a chainsaw. Whoop. I need... That, I think? Yeah, I don't really need anything else. Yeah, it's just a prep level, basically. Like, you just grab stuff and leave. These fishmen aren't a threat if you're fast. I think my points are good. I don't want to get to 40k until... Uh, the level after this level. <laughs> This is a boss that spawns enemies, so sometimes you'll just, like, he'll win. I missed that key over. After a certain point in the run, you just like, I don't care about keys, I have three million of them. I need one for a trick later on in the run. If I don't get it, it's like, boo-hoo, I get, like, I can use... I waste 15 seconds grabbing a skeleton key. If there's one skeleton key, we can skip with a glitch. I'm gonna try not to punch any enemies, too, because I'm gonna keep my score low. Oh, that's right here. What am I doing? <laughs> it's like, where's the hole? I have to make it. Duh. Avoid that silver. I don't want to pick that up. I gotta waste it otherwise. Yeah, the cheerleader has a chance to despawn. Hopefully, you don't get insanely bad marathon luck. I haven't gotten that in a while. There's another glitch in this game. That's that one where she could just despawn and soft lock. I don't know why it happens. I just need to make sure I kill him quick because, like, I think the less webs he spawns, the higher chance I have for it to not happen. That's pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, so neat. I don't, I don't, I didn't get the uh, what you call it. I'm gonna have the, I got the points thing to work out for me. So that worked out. Er everything's good. Hooray! We didn't soft lock, and I have like the perfect amount of points for this. I can just go straight to the baby and leave because the baby gives me 700 points or 750 actually. Yeah, I can just leave. Heck, this. I'm out. <laughs> See ya. There's a vampire being annoying, but I'm gonna take cover. If I get 40,000 points before I get to this level, the other baby's on the other side of the map, so it takes forever. Go in the door. I was like a, a pixel off. What the hell? <laughs> but if I get it on this level, which, there we go, extra victim bonus, then they're like literally on the same screen. They're right next to each other, which saves a bunch of time. Whoop. Yeah, let's grab these missiles. This is slow, but like, whatever. We're gonna grab some marathon stuff anyway. Get free HP here, because why not? Yeah, oh, get in the water, what are you doing? Rescue baby. Kill these ones. Thanks, friend. Oh, geez, don't hit me. There can only be one. Which one? Is this the uh, pyramid, or what is this? No, it's vampire. Oh, here's where I can do the glitch. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, I got three million keys. Let me go for it. What now? Oh, he's right on top of my cheerleader. That was very bad. I should not have brought him here. <laughs> I, I did the glitch, though. I didn't soft lock or anything, so there we go. The only way to lose the run now is if I let one of my neighbors die, or if I die three times. Which, both of those are unlikely, I think. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought Dracula. That was kind of a bad move. I have a dumb one on my part. Let me shoot him with two missiles. He's dead. He should be dead on three, right? 
There we go, cool. Only snake out I gotta kill on this level. What am I doing next? I don't remember what I have next. I think missiles? I don't remember what it is though. I think it's the Martian level. Yeah, these piles usually give me something, but today no. Whatever, I'm gonna grab that skeleton key on the way back. I need it. It's faster to grab it right here instead of later, because like the door takes forever to spawn, so it's like whatever. Might as well. Yeah, I think it's the Martians go home, which is the last Martian level. We're starting to get to the last ten levels here, so like trying to no longer deal with certain enemies, which is very nice. Yeah, heck Martians, get out of here, get back to Mars. I'm gonna grab this boiga. I need this actually. No, not you. Oh, I don't have any speed shoes. Let me uh, rectify that. Also, I just whiff that. Hold up. This is not a speed shoe level either. I just realized. Yeah, we're doing speed shoes like later on. I'm forgetting things. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Shoot two missile. That hit right. If that didn't, I'm wasting their missile. And yeah, these Martians are snipers here. They're really good at shooting me before I can shoot back. I have more keys than I need at this point. I'm pretty sure. I need the plates, actually. But we used to avoid those, but somebody found out. You, those actually do more damage to the final boss than, like, anything else. Especially if they move side to side. Before, it was the squirt gun, which is a nice backup. Yeah, those plates do a ton of damage, so I'm grabbing them. Oh, yeah, spikes. Uh, I'm not getting the cool guy strap, but whatever. Took the damage, it's fine. Oh, I didn't take a second hit. That door spawned in a good spot. Yeah, I can sometimes take another hit there, but it's luck-based. doesn't even matter. Time for the super fun site or whatever it's called. Super fun, yay! I am gonna drink uh, a ghost potion so I don't get poisoned. There's a bunch of, uh, whatchamacallit, black la or blue lagoon creatures. They're, yeah, the black lagoon's the real one, the blue lagoon's the fake one. A lot of them are just parody names based off the old monster movies. There we go. I think it's the last of them we see. They, they don't really do much in the speed run. They're normally like pretty annoying in a regular casual run, but they're like not even a threat in the speed run because we just like use a potion to get rid of them most of the time. <laughs> Which one's Curse of the Tongue again? Oh yeah, I need to just schmoove here. Hold up. Oop. We're schmoovin'. And then down here, and then up here, and then secret passage for the Skelly, and then oh, don't get shocked, hopefully. I didn't get shocked. I'm moving pretty good. I'm not bonking too much, so I get to keep my speed shoes all the way over here. Hell yeah, let's go. I did not need to pick up that extra HP in the run. I'm doing good. I didn't practice for this run, I'm still doing good at zombies, so all right. Cool. I was like, okay, pick up these just in case, like, I'm doing bad, but nah, we're just good at this game, I guess. Heck. All right, what? this is the ant level. I need to use my missiles. And then also I need to use this to kill ants because they're annoying. I need to make sure I don't... I need to get off the screen as fast as possible. There's a rare bug where uh, the only neighbor here could die on that screen where I can't even see him. It's really stupid and I hate it. It happened once during a marathon action. <laughs> that was annoying. Let me kill this guy. Points don't matter anymore, by the way. I can just kill every zombie at this point. There's not, I'm not going to hit another one or anything. I'm not going to hit any extra neighbors by killing him. So it's like, whatever. Go ham. Kill every zombie you want now. Don't make a difference. Oh, right, here we go. We're down to three levels, I think. This is, I have, like, way too many misses. I'm gonna, like, be boosting like crazy in the last level. Oop. And then, whoop. And then, whoop. There's a guy in here. He's very sneaky. I'm gonna grab the skeleton key he was guarding. Yeah, I can boost past all these guys, except he's in my way. That's very mean. Please don't. Whoops. Got me through a tree, what the heck. Also, almost got slimed. There are slimes here, and they will waste my time. Give me that cheerleader, and then we're gonna go fight some snakeoids again. The final snakeoids! On a big football field with a bunch of football guys who push me around and annoy me, but they're normally more helpful than hurtful a lot of the time. Or they're like, they're either a mire annoyance or no annoyance at all. Let me go down here. I think there's a speed shoe I need. Yeah, there we go. And I want to only get one at a time on my screen, hopefully. So I need to kill two of these, not even all three, but I got bad luck. There's more than one. I can't tell which one spawned a lot of the time. Although they're being nice and staying far apart. There we go. One died in two hits. It's perfect. Come up here. Die. Good. They're both dead already. Nice. And I have extra missiles, so we boosting. I should just pop this health. I'm going to do that. Whoops. Almost grabbed the silver. He knocked me back. That's whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't need missiles for anything else except boosting, so like I can just use them for this. 
have this actually. Oh, I picked up extra on the vampire level, huh? That's fine. Yeah, final level, kind of. The final real level. This is a uh, curse of the tongue. We're gonna go fight a big old boss. I'm also gonna use this right away. There we go. And then I'm just gonna waste as much of this as possible. Which I normally just get rid of it here. I don't really need that much. Like the 10 or 12 I had before would have been fine, but whatever. <laughs> The key down here points don't matter, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of points. Let me just switch back to this. That's what I got this for anyway, for boost. And there was a health kit here, I might as well grab it. I'm literally just chilling out right there. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna move. There we go. And then flamethrower destroys the spider, like before. So I'm gonna use the flamethrower on this part. Never using dinner plates, it's dinner time for this guy. We had like a really fast kill on the one in level 36, which saved me a lot of time. Hopefully that happens here. But this one is a bigger arena, and. Yeah, it has more HP. I think double, actually, HP from before, so it, it can take way longer. Yeah, points don't matter, so it can spawn as many spiders as it wants to. I got three H or four health kits, three now, but yeah. It's whatever, he can do damage. The strat is just to, like, have two health kits, pretty much, which you get, like, two or before this fight, anyway. Or at least one. Okay, I'm gonna trim as much of this as possible. And he also spawned a spider when he died, that's not good. How dare you, I'm gonna heal. Where are my dinner plates? I mean, it's dinner time, buddy. Oops. Yeah, I wanna go side to side so I can do more damage that way. Up and down doesn't do as much damage. If you go side to side like this, he just eats He just eats it. It's purely luck the way he goes. And I'm getting good luck here, he's dying. So he bonk me a little bit. You can just go anywhere, it's annoying. It's purely luck based. Also, his eyeballs destroy my plates, so it's kind of a pain. Come on, guy. No, 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 stay on my screen. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. We're stuck on phase 3 3 and a place we're gonna last like two seconds because he just took a bunch of side damage. Yeah, there we go, that took like no time at all. Boom, I'm gonna do that. I can never. Oh, I got her actually. She normally gets a jump off there for free, but that was like a perfect friggin' boost, I guess. Yeah, it runs not over yet, even though this is kind of like the credits, sort of. It's just going to show me every zombie I killed. So, fun fact, every every enemy you kill is six frames in the screen, so it does matter, like, killing enemies. Like, the less you kill, the faster you go in the speedrun. On this screen, at least, too. Although you do have to hit 40k in that one screen, so, like... Although you, you can get those points from, a, whatchamacallit, the vampire level, you can just grab a bunch... There's a big pile of money, a bunch of piles of money. I've only never gotten enough points from that pile of money like once, and I was like super pacifist on accident one time. <laughs> Pretty luck based. But yeah. yeah, the run's not over yet because there is a credits level where you can die on, and I have died on there in uh, potential PBs in the past. I was about to get like a second place PB at one point, and then I got killed by like one of the literal last enemies I could possibly get killed by on one HP. Just, I got sniped by a little baby. Little bootleg Harry oh, Potter doll wow. through a hatchet at my shins and obliterated. I guess me. gotta give that section credit for being capable of being deadly, huh? Yeah, if you only have one HP, pretty much, it's the only chance you die here. But you can still die here, and it still costs time to do, so they count it as part of the speed run. And this screen also has variable time, and depending on how many enemies right. you kill, so it does count. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Yeah, time's coming up in like, I don't know, a minute or something. This is the last enemy. They have a data tentacle reference in here because LucasArts made this. But here's our last level. Credit level. You could actually walk around and talk about like a bunch of portraits of the devs and stuff, which is kind of cool. They just say like their name, what they did, I think. I have two extra health kits. I don't need any of the bonus health that grabs. Yeah, that guy killed me before. Oh yeah, I don't have any more boost. Yeah, that guy did a thing, that guy did a thing. There's a dead tentacle beast that sometimes spawn there, it doesn't, I don't know. But yeah, times when I go through the door here, here's Tony, he always talks to you, there's no avoiding him. And time. Yeah, okay, so I guess we're gonna put in uh, the classic. But with a twist. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There, there's our top score. <laughs> oh my god! Did it. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that zombies ate my neighbors. That's all I got for now. I got two more runs of this marathon on different days, so I'll be back doing other games. It's the only console run I got, so I gotta hope 
uh, audio split still works and everything by the time yeah. you get here. Yeah, we got Kid Ekris up next. Stick around, and I'll see you later.